What's up guys, Cooper Carter here, and I'm thrilled to be taking part in Fractal's Gift of Tone series with so many other amazing artists and friends from the Fractal community. This is a great series. I hope you guys have been enjoying it and that you're gonna keep with it for the rest of the Gift of Tones. Today, my gift to you is the sound on sound preset that you just heard, the most popular preset from my Fractal Audio Masterclass series, the complete Axfx3, FM9, and FM3 masterclasses. It's the same preset for all three units, so whatever unit you're on, you can get those beautiful, lush cleans that you heard and then kick up to either scene two or scene three and have your pick of either a clean lead or what you just heard, a more overdriven lead that's reminiscent of live Eric Johnson from the early 90s. On the list of my all-time favorite live guitar performances, his Cliffs of Dover from the Austin City Limits show in 88 is very, very close to the top there and the intro to Cliffs of Dover features a uh, little sound on sound section where he holds a chord and then solos over it. And a couple years later, David Gilmore did the same thing with his Royal Albert Hall shows and played the intro to Shine On You Crazy Diamond without a band, without any synth backing, and he would use the sound on sound uh, delay hold to lay down the chord and then play the very famous lead intro sounds uh, over the top of it. So I'm gonna show you guys how we can recreate this kind of sound and really take it to the next level because whereas those guys were using kind of simple tape echo or delay hold features in their rigs, we can access all of the amazing resolution in the beautiful reverbs and delays in the Fractal units to really create an expansive and immersive sound to then play over. So our first scene here is our sound. It's where we lay down the bed by playing a single chord. It sounds like this. A just incredibly beautiful lush sound. I'm getting it from a band commander amp set pretty clean. A little bit of compression here. I've got a volume pedal here that you can bring down that's attached to external one in case you want to swell in your sound for the chords or mute your sound while you're changing scenes over to the lead. But the real trick here for creating the sound on sound effect is this reverb. And in the reverb here, I've got the stack hold parameter attached to the control switch one modifier. And so this controller, if we go into the controllers menu, can be switched on a per scene basis. So in scene one, control switch one is off. But if I go up to scene two, you'll see control switch one turns on. And this reverb hold is now set to holding. So in scene one, no reverb hold. In scene two, the reverb holds. So I play a chord. <laughs> And I switch up to that scene, and the reverb is holding indefinitely. Now this scene two here, I've got the band commander, but I'm boosting it a little bit with a BB Pre AT. Go back down to scene one, and the reverb hold turns off and it finishes out its 12 seconds of decay. This plex reverb is really helping though to make it not sound uh, like everything just kind of drops out. If I turn this off in these two scenes, you'll see, I go, I set my bed. <laughs> I move up. And the sound is really just way too dry because this reverb is not listening anymore uh, to what's coming before it because it's holding. Scene three maintains the reverb hold here, but gives us the B channel of the amplifier, the Wrecker Liverpool in this case, with an esoteric ACB for a much uh, bigger lead. <laughs> Really, it's very simple to create a texture to play over. All you really need to do is actuate with your preferred controller this stack hold parameter, whether you want to use control switches like I have here, or whether you want to use something like scene controllers, which is another great way to change values throughout different scenes. But I've actually used another modifier controller pair here to kind of take this preset to the next level. And this is one of those things that really is easy in fractal land, but would be kind of tough to pull off in any other type of unit. So what I've done here is on this mix parameter of the pitch shifter in this reverb, and I've got it shifted down a full octave, I've got this envelope follower attached here, and I've set the maximum mix to be 26.2% so that when I play, <laughs> That lower octave kind of sneaks in there and I've got a good bit of damping here on both the attack and the release.
Just a nice effect, kind of subtle, that adds an extra dimension to the sound that I really love. And with so much control in fractal units, it's easy to implement. You could, of course, just have this lower octave on all the time, but I thought it was really cool to have it kind of swell in as you start soloing uh, over your laid down texture. So on scene four here, I've gone ahead and just recreated the sound on sound in a little more uh, old school way that's not relying so much on Fractal's kind of unbelievable processing power. This is more akin to what Eric Johnson was doing uh, at Austin City Limits. So I've got a delay here um, and he used a tape machine for this effect, but I'm using the digital mono delay here just to keep the repeats a little clearer. And instead of using the reverb for the hold, I'm holding the delay parameter here with control switch two. So the reverb here is set to a more normal type reverb. And when I play here, you can hear the delays carry out. But when I switch up to scene two, you hear them start to repeat. And it's a much more pronounced effect. It sounds much less like a pad and much more like a delay that's just repeating over and over. And then finally, in scene six, I've just added a uh, little bonus scene here, which is my uh, gift to you guys. This is not supposed to sound exactly like Eric Johnson's Austin City Limits tone, but it's what I've dialed in for my playing uh, to really put me in that zone. And you guys may be able to tweak it a little bit for your own playing, um, but it definitely gets me where I want to be to recreate Eric Johnson's huge kind of early 90s expansive live sound. There's a good bit more gain here than he really had because, uh, well, I can't uh, I can't play like Eric Johnson. So I've goosed the gain up a little bit to help you play fast. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy playing around with this preset. It's one of those that I pull up and just immediately lose an hour or so to just playing. It's just a ton of fun to lay down some chords and then play some lead over it. And this kind of preset is exactly the sort of thing that is really complex when you start thinking about it. But in Fractal Land is really easy to implement. So if you guys enjoyed seeing how this preset came together and you want to learn more about unlocking these kind of sounds and get the absolute most out of your Fractal unit, whether that's an Axe FX3, an FM9 or an FM3, Make sure to visit classes.coopercarter.com for my complete Fractal Audio Masterclass series. Happy holidays to all of you. Enjoy the Gift of Tone series, and I will see you all very soon.